Hi, Carlos. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. How do you do? Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, What about your daughter? It's in house. Okay. Um, the, solo le hicieron unos exámenes y ya ahora en la madrugada hemos regresado. Ah, okay. But is everything okay? Sí, eh, solo presentaba los síntomas, pero le dijeron que no, que no era apendicitis como se había diagnosticado acá en la clínica de acá de, mm -hmm. de la colonia en la que vivimos. Ok, ok, ok. Well, that's something good. Al menos, pues, está bien, ¿verdad? No, no era nada, pues, eh, grave. ¿verdad? Sí, solo los medicamentos que le dejaron, pero de ahí por lo demás, gracias a Dios, ya está bastante okay. mejor. All right, awesome. Okay, nos alegramos por eso, Carlos. Very good. Gracias. Okay, all right. So, good evening, Eulise. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How do you feel um, today? Now I feel a little tired because uh, always same, uh, same old, same old. Okay. All right, so, so you, you had a really uh, busy day. Yes, every day, uh, a really busy. Yes, I imagine. Okay, and what do you do? Uh, during the day or right now? Yeah, during the day. Okay. Mm. Like I work, I, I like, I like, Mm -hmm. Um, I work like mechanic, so okay. I have to do. I have. I have to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. For example, maintaining a different machine, and clean. Uh, uh, also a different machine, and every and all day, um, I was in maintaining of machine. Okay. So yes, um, then you you had a really busy and tiring day. Yes, because I I, I have to thinking all all day about the problem. Okay. Oh my God! Yeah, I think that 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 is um really like um, maybe exhausting right it's kind of exhausting mm -hmm. yes yes uh siempre en la noche como se dice eso um always at night okay always at night i'm upset uh, no, i i'm exhausted exhausted yes mm -hmm. do you work on weekends uh, only on Saturday. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, tomorrow is Friday, so just one day and you are going to rest, right? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So good evening, Houseman. Good evening, Raul. Good evening. Well, Edwin is connecting, I think. Mm -hmm. How are you guys? How are you, eh, Raul? Hi. Very well. You're good. Okay. What about your day? How was it? Tiring? So, so relaxing? No, a little relaxing. Okay. Maybe at the end of the day, uh, a little tired because, um, let me see, Tuesday and Wednesday, no, Tuesday and, and today, I went to the training. So, oh. <laughs> a little tired yeah. after. Got it. Okay, okay. And what about your day, Hosman? How was it? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I I well a good day. Okay. Um, I got, so, uh -huh. uh, so so 
and training in the afternoon, the new process. Okay. Um, the tomorrow, the yeah, practice, uh, the new conocimiento. Okay, new knowledge. Mm -hmm. The new knowledge. Conocimiento, knowledge. Knowledge, okay, thank you. Okay. All right, perfect. So you uh, received training today. That is, that is good. Uh, well, we can see that we have Edwin. We also have Jennifer. Good evening. Um, how are you, Edwin? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, awesome. Uh, well, guys, we are going to start with today's class, okay? So today's agenda, we have the warm-up, then we're going to move to grammar, and today we are going to have a review about the topic that we covered yesterday, yeah? Then we also have a speaking evaluation, we have grammar, we have a listening quiz, we have um, correcting mistakes. This one is an activity that we are going to complete at the end of the class. Okay, so as a warm up, we are going to start with the following. It says, say the color, not the word. Okay, so say the color, not the word. For example, if we see the color which is green, we are not going to say red, right? This is green because you need to say the color, not the word. So, for example, green, orange, blue, black, red, and so on, all right? Let's see. Um, we are going to start with Hoseman. Okay, Hoseman, let's see. You will have one minute, okay? You will have one minute, and if you uh, made a mistake, so then the next participant, okay? But we are going to start with you, Hoseman. Say the color, not the word, okay? Go. Okay. Um, red. Oh, no. Blue. Okay. No. You need to say the color. Tiene que decir el color, no la palabra que usted ve. Ah, okay. 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 Go. Uh, green. Uh, orange. Blue. Black. Red. Yellow. Uh, light blue, light blue, uh -huh, light blue, uh, green. celeste, mm -hmm. uh, green, green, purple, uh, uh, yes, uh, purple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, um, blue. baby purple, baby blue. purple, blue, um, green. Yellow, uh, yes, yellow. Okay. Um, pink, white, uh, black, red, and uh, green, purple. Okay, no, this one is pink. <laughs> All right, thank you, Hosman. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so say the color, not the word, okay? Say the color, the color. Anna, in one minute, say the color. Uh, green, orange, uh, blue, black, red, light blue, green, green, orange, uh, uh, yellow, uh, purple, blue, green, uh, yellow, yellow, pink, gray, black, red, green, uh, pink, uh, 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 yellow, red, light blue, blue, red, brown, uh, green, uh, red, green, yellow, yellow, pink, uh, blue, blue, pink, green, purple, purple, uh, red, uh, yellow, green, uh, orange, no, yellow, and purple. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, well done. Okay, so let's see. Um, who wants to participate? Uh -huh. Say the color, not the word. 
Okay? Two volunteers. Say the color, not the word. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, go, Carlos. One minute. Green, orange, blue, black, red, light blue, green, green, orange, yellow, purple, blue, green, yellow, yellow, pink, gray, black, red, green, purple, uh, pink. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, Yellow, uh, red, light blue, blue, red, brown, green, red, green, yellow, yellow, pink, blue, blue, pink, green, purple, purple, red, yellow, green, yellow, purple. Okay, very good. Yes, it was good. Okay, the last one. The last one, guys. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, so I'm going to pick somebody. Um, yes, Raul, okay. One, uh, give me, yes, I'm going to turn off my, my video. Okay, one, two, three, go. Uh, green, uh, orange, blue, black, red, uh, blue, green, green, orange, yellow, uh, purple, uh, blue, green, uh, yellow, yellow, fuchsia, uh, uh, gray, uh, black, red, Orange, uh, fuchsia, uh, yellow, uh, red, mm, I don't know, blue, blue, red, uh, brown, green, green, red, uh, green, uh, yellow, yellow, uh, fuchsia, blue, blue, uh, purple, green, purple. Uh, purple, red, yellow, uh, green, uh, uh, yellow, and purple. Okay, okay, very good. All right, guys, so let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue with um, modal verbs. Okay, so today we're going to make a review. Yes, um, so Hostman, help us reading, please, the topic. This information and could have. Okay. And then please, uh, Carlos Arias should have and would have. Okay, Hosman, go. Model of loss opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, model of loss opportunity shows something that almost happened, but die to see the uh, to just thing. Uh, of the new post participle bird after the models. You can also also use not for a negative sentence. Mm -hmm. Call help. Teacher, sorry, tabelo pero poner un poquito más grande. Oh yes, you can uh, zoom in. Usted lo puede hacer más grande. Okay. Trate de hacerlo más grande en su pantalla. Okay. Yeah. Very okay. Uh, Call help. Who is one in the models in the past that? Indicates possibly of polite request. Mm -hmm. I could uh, I could have applied mm -hmm. for the job, but it died going to. Okay. Shall have shall have means something will have be been a great decision or action. However, you didn't do it. Mm -hmm. I shall have studied for the test. Mm -hmm. We'll have will have is to discuss mm -hmm. something you wanted wanted to the boat to the boat didn't. Mm -hmm. I will have been 
there boy you there but you didn't call me okay thank you guys first of all we are going to uh focus on pronunciation okay so this one is going to be polite this one polite okay polite mm -hmm. then we also have applied applied remember that the um this is a subject is a pronoun that is i okay no e i yes then the other one is going to be this one a studied studied then this one but but okay so guys do you remember that yesterday we covered could have should have and would have we covered three modal verbs in the past yeah so today we are going to make use a review on that yeah so the first thing is that we are going to discuss when uh, we can use could have. Um, help us reading could have, Anna. All the information that you see right there. Okay. Um, could have means that something was possible in the past, but it did not happen. I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel for a year. Mm -hmm. He couldn't have seen me, and you could have told me about tomorrow exam. Okay, thank you. Pronunciation. Decided. Decided. Yes, decided. And this one, tomorrow's exam. Tomorrow's exam. Yes. Very good. So we also have a could have. And it means that something was possible in the past, but it did not happen, okay? Something was possible. It was a possibility in the past. I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel for a year, yeah? So yo pude haber ido a la universidad, but... I decided to travel for a year. He couldn't have seen me. Él no podría haberme visto. You could have told me about tomorrow's exam. Me podrías haber dicho acerca del examen de mañana. Yeah? If you can notice, we are not adding if, right? Because we can create sentences only with could have in this case or couldn't have. It is not mandatory that you add if. It depends on the idea, of course, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we also studied yesterday would have. It helps us reading would have, Edwin. Okay. Will have is used to show that you want to do something in the past, but you could not. I will have called, but there was no phone service. I will have loaned you the money, but don't have any. If I had known they were vegetarians, I would have made a salad. Okay, yes. So vegetarians, okay? Yes, guys. So would have is the one that we use to show that, uh, that you wanted to do something in the past, but you couldn't. I would have called you. Yeah. Yo te hubiera llamado. But there was no phone service. Pero no había servicio telefónico. Yeah. I would have loaned you the money, but I didn't have any. Yo te hubiese prestado, right? But I didn't have any. No tenía dinero. If I had known they were vegetarians, I would have made a salad. Si yo hubiese sabido que ellos eran vegetarianos, yo hubiera hecho preparado 
una ensalada. ¿Ya? Would have. Okay. And the last one that we studied yesterday was should have. Susana, can you please help us reading should have? Okay. Should have means that something did not happen, but we wish it. But we wish it had happened. We use should have to talk about past mistakes. I was so worried about you. You should have called. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that I'm late for work. I should have woke up. I should have woken up early, earlier. Yes. They should have bought music to the party. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have talked during the lesson. Okay, very good. So guys, as you can see right here, we should have, it means that something did not happen, but we wish it had happened. We use should have to talk about past mistakes. I was so worried about you. This is, this is something I will say that is true. Cuando usted le dice a su mamá, o cualquier persona, está preocupado por ti. Right, me uh, debiste haber llamado. Right, so I was so worried about you. You should have called. Yeah, so I'm sorry that I'm late for work. I should have woken up earlier. Miren, lo siento por venir tarde. Okay, yo debí haber eh, haberme levantado temprano o más temprano. They should have brought music to the party and we shouldn't have talked during the lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should have. So remember, could have, would have, and should have. And don't forget that the verb that follows should be past participle. Yeah, any question till here? Doubts, questions? No? Okay. So now then, let's move and let's start with the exercises. Let's pick the correct phrase to complete the sentence. Okay, number one. It was my fault. I... Which is the correct response I shouldn't have uh -huh. I shouldn't have sent the email okay what about number two uh, read the the whole sentence okay and the and the answer please number two Could have, couldn't have. Okay. Couldn't have. Are you sure? Yes. Wouldn't have. Wouldn't have or couldn't have. Couldn't have. Couldn't have. So my mom wanted to make hamburgers for dinner, but my brother, my brother, have have eaten them. No podría haberlas comido, o no habría comido. Which sounds better okay. for you? Couldn't have. Couldn't have. Que no podría haberlas comido. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't have. Uh, o que no habría comido. Podría. I still wouldn't have. Habría comido. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. Here you need to make sure that you um you need to look for the best um the best thought, right? Como el, el mejor la mejor interpretación. 
Why? Because my mom wanted to make hamburgers for dinner, but my, bro but my brother couldn't have eaten them. No podría haberlas comido, but why? Yes. Entonces, pero ¿por qué no podría haberlas comido? Yo no tengo aquí ningún contexto que me diga que es enfermo, que no puede comerla, que es vegetariano. Uh -huh. You need to look for the context. Tiene que fijarse en todo el contexto. Now, if we say, my mom wanted to make hamburgers for dinner, but my brother wouldn't have eaten them. Estamos diciendo que mi mamá quería hacer hamburguesas para la cena, pero mi hermano no habría comido. Uh -huh. So you need to look for the context, okay? Now, number three. I think I made the wrong decision. What would you have done, Jackie? Okay. What would you have done, Jackie? Or what you uh what should you have done, Jackie? What should you have done, Jackie? What should you have done, Jackie? It says, I think I made the wrong decision. I think I made the wrong decision. Sure. I think well, you, because he, he asked uh, by, okay. by, by myself or, right? Correct. So I'm asking her opinion, right? Uh -huh. What would you have done, Jackie? ¿Qué habrías hecho tú, Jackie? So, I think I made the wrong decision. Yo creo que cometí o tomé la, una decisión incorrecta. ¿Qué habrías hecho tú, Jackie? Y si le, le decimos, what should you have done? Es como preguntarle, ¿qué deberías haber hecho tú? But it doesn't make sense, right? At the end, no tiene mucho sentido si decimos, uh, should you have done, Jackie? And the last one, Monica missed dinner. Monica missed dinner. Should have. Should have, but have told her about the change in dinner plans. Correct. Max should have told her about the change in dinner plans. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay, now let's move. And give me one second. Okay, let's move. Okay. Um, Raúl, help us reading, please. Uh, would have, okay. Then, let me see. Susana should have. And Salvador could have. It says, give me advice about the following hypothetical situations. Those are situations. I need you to give me advice. Quiero que usted me dé una oración con verbos modales en pasado. Dependiendo de la, del escenario. Okay, would have. Okay, we'll have uh, a person dropped this wallet, but I didn't pick, pick it up. I just kept walking. Hmm. Walking. What should I have done? Let me see the advice. Uh, The advice using uh, the the model, right? The will have. Will okay. have or should have or could have. Whatever you want, but I need you to give me the correct sentence. Mm, let me see. I will have a... Uh, I will have a... Uh, Picked it up 
Uh, his, his wallet and mm -hmm. uh, let me see and give and give his or give her no give absolutely I don't know como, no encuentro como decir y dársela <laughs> Mm -hmm. and, oh, gave, <laughs> okay, and and gave it to him what teacher can you could you repeat again and gave him and gave it to him gave gave it, it to him to him okay okay, okay. Yes. good teacher yes it's correct if you say uh, gave him. Gave? Gave him. Mm, it is correct, but in the sentence, we cannot say that. Um, but whenever we give something, siempre que utilizamos el verbo give, puede ser presente, pasado, o, o cualquier tiempo verbal. Siempre es de darle a alguien, algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, la mayor parte del tiempo vamos a decir siempre, siempre, siempre con el tú. Ok, thank you. Ok, number two. Situation number two. Ok, you have, I saw my neighbor, neighbor's boyfriend kissing with another girl, with another girl. Mm, you should have talked talk with your girlfriend about that situation because I think she don't need a traitor in her in her life. Okay, she doesn't. Ah, she doesn't need. Oh, ya no se ocupa eso. No, she doesn't uh, need. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need a, a traitor tra in her in her life. In her life. Okay. Okay. Yes. Situation number three. Could have. Could have. My best friend called me five times at midnight, mm -hmm. but I didn't take the call because I was too sleepy. What should I have done? Mm, difficult. Mm -hmm. Think about an idea. So it says, my best friend called me five times at midnight, but I didn't take the call because I was too sleepy. Mire como se dice, tenía mucho sueño. No se dice, I have a lot of sleep. No, mm -hmm. se dice, I was too sleepy. Tenía mucho sueño. Cuando usted quiere decir, tengo mucho sueño. I am too sleepy. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, but yes, now using modal verbs. I need to help. You need help, okay? Somebody else that has an idea? You could help. have answered the, the call. You could have answered the call. Okay. Yeah. To know what happened. To know what with happened. Friend. Yes, perfect. A possibility, yes, that is correct. Somebody else that has maybe a different opinion? Mm -hmm. Maybe you should have sent a voice note. 
telling her that you were really sleepy. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Now, let's continue. Okay. Past modal verbs again. So we have four images. You see? So I Teacher. need eight. Yes. Uh, sorry. Eh, bueno, lo decía en español porque no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Eh, pero sí me gusta. Bueno, yo en lo personal tal vez nos podría dar algún tips porque yo sí me tiendo a confundir mucho en las tres, en qué momento utilizarlo. ¿Verdad? Entonces sí, no sé si tal vez nos me puede dar alguna explicación o algún tips para saber en qué, cuál es la que tengo que, vamos a utilizar más que todo a la hora de, de hacer la pre, la La pregunta o lo que queramos opinar, ¿verdad? Okay. All right. So, would have, in this case, remember that would have means, um, this one means, could mean, this one, it is really difficult for me to interpret. Esa es como, depende del verbo que se lleve aquí. ¿Por qué? Si yo le digo, en ese caso, I would have, let me go ahead and, and write down. Vale, aquí, aquí se lo voy a poner. Va, mira. If I say, I would have done my homework. ¿Sí? Si yo digo, I would have done my homework, estoy diciendo, yo habría hecho. Este es como un habría. Okay. Sí, yo habría hecho mi tarea. So, el would have se puede utilizar como usted lo puede ver acá. Déjeme, voy a irme, voy a retroceder. Aquí dice, el would have, mire. Is used to show that you wanted to do something in the past, but you couldn't. Usted quería hacer algo en el pasado, pero no pudo. Mm -hmm. For example, aquí hay otros ejemplos. I would have called. Yo habría llamado. Pero no pude. ¿Por qué no pude? Because there was no phone service. Okay. So, obviamente en algunas ocasiones no van a tener siempre el contexto. Entonces es por eso que yo se lo doy individual, que este es como un eh, yo habría y después el, el, el verbo, ¿verdad? Que depende del, del verbo. Yo habría llamado, yo habría hecho, yo habría comido, yo habría jugado, cualquier verbo. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando se quiere, quiera decir, yo habría hecho esto y esto y esto, el would have es el indicado. Yes. Then we also have should have. Okay. So we have should have. And should have means debería haber. So, cuando su idea sea expresando, yo debería haber eh, comprado más papas. Yeah. So. I should have comprado in past participle. Both. Both. Uh -huh. I should have bought more potatoes. Yo debería haber. No. Okay. O debía haber. Depende cómo se lo quiera interpretar. Debería haber o debía haber. Okay. So, y aquí es como usted lo, lo conjugue. Eh, yo debía haber eh, hecho mi tarea. Yo debía haber llamado a mi mamá. Yo debí haber terminado los reportes ayer. Yo debía haber eh, practicado inglés. Eh, ella debió, depende de su sujeto, lo conjuga. Ella debió haber comido saludable cuando estaba joven. Y así lo va conjugando. 
La estructura is the same for all of the subjects. Es la misma estructura para todos los sujetos. No cambia nada. Eh? Se mantiene esto. Okay. Now, we could have... Uh -huh. But also, there is a... Debería tener también. And could have and should have. Debería tener. Debería haber o debería de tener. Ok, muy bien. It's a good question. Esa es una muy buena pregunta. El debería tener está en presente. Ah, ok. Este es pasado. Ok. Yo debí haber. Es lo que no tenemos que confundir porque yo sé que a veces eh, tendemos a confundir eso porque no es lo mismo decir I should have more friends. Yo debería tener más amigos, pero mire, mire la estructura. Ese está en presente y ese está en pasado. ¿Ven? Only, uh, on the, el verbo, en el verbo se, también se puede notar eso. Correcto. Uh -huh. okay. Correcto, en el verbo. Eso Teacher, es... I, have, I have a, a, a little confusion, confusion okay. but when, when I, uh, for example, when I, <laughs> when I write, I should, uh, I should have had. In this case, when, when, when you put have and have, uh, for me, uh, is low my. <laughs> yes, no, it, it is valid, okay? That is a valid question. For example, I should have had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have had a what? A more money for my house, maybe? For money, for money. Okay. Yo debí haber tenido. I should have had. <laughs> but in, in this case, the, the verb have, we don't use in past participle, right? Yes, this is past participle. Had, had, had. Creo que en esa parte donde yo me confundo a veces cuando, cuando es have, had, porque se, según recuerdo, quiero ver, Va en la regla que no es poner el sujeto, el modal, ah, no, pero sí, es will have, es cierto, sí, creo mm -hmm. que ahí va mi confusión. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that you are getting confused with the if I had had, but yeah. that one is the past participle. Ese pasado participio, right? Ese es eh, pasado perfecto. That's the name. Ok, ok. Pero esos son los modales. <risa> yeah. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. But very good question because yes, I remember when I was learning, I, I was having that issue as well. Ese es uno de los errores más comunes o tal vez confusiones que siempre nos surgen. Ok, cuando estamos aprendiendo y es cierto. Okay, very good. So now, could have, okay? So could have, I could have, yo podría haber posibilidad, right? Yo podría haber um, comido más saludable. I could have eaten more um, healthy or, yeah. Yes? You see, I mean, este es, eh, podría haber, debería haber, habría. That's what you need to remember, okay? So if you want to learn this, but, but uh, for real, you need to learn this in that way, because if not, it is going to be confusing for you. And the thing is that um, there are other modal verbs that we haven't covered. I must que no hemos visto aún, right? So, but those three are the most common ones, okay? Son como los más comunes que se utilizan. 
Do you have any doubt? Any other doubt? Any other question? No. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. So now that I already explained that, yes, let's create a sentence for each picture. That means that you are going to create one sentence with this one, with this one, with this one, and with this. For example, imagine, okay? You are going to use your imagination. So this one, let's see. Mm, I can say, she should have drunk more water. If you notice, she is tired. Right? Mm -hmm. Now this one, this is my example. This one, I'm using my imagination, okay? So you need to use your imagination in English, of course, right? So what about this one? Mm, okay, so he should have... Well, I'm going to do this one in, in negative. Uh, he, shouldn't, he shouldn't have been rude with the police officer. No debería haber sido eh, pesado, rude, okay? What about this one? He should have prepared for the job interview because I can see here that he is disappointed. Maybe he didn't get the job or probably he is worried about something, I don't know. What about this one? Mm -hmm. mm, this one. They shouldn't have had a fight last night. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Could be. He he should have uh he should have told her the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Él debió haberle dicho la verdad. I'm using my imagination. Now you need to use your imagination and use the modal verbs in the past. Okay. So I'll give you around four minutes. This one is individual. Okay. It's individually because I would like to know if you um, are getting the topic or if you need more explanation. Okay. So individually, I'll give you five minutes. Create one sentence for each picture. Try, okay? Try to do it. Hmm? If you have questions, let me know so I can explain to you. Once you are done, send the sentences to the chat here in Zoom.
He should have saved him money. Él debería haber cortado dinero. He should have saved money. And he could have okay. That one is with the correction, Susana. I should have given up in the tournament. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have stolen mm, the money. I should have stolen the, mm -mm. the boss money. Okay, she should have practiced for the competition, correct. He shouldn't have stolen he shouldn't have stolen these papers he shouldn't have slept late last night she shouldn't have seen uh her boyfriend's cell phone <laughs> okay yeah that is correct okay so she could have won if she didn't She could have won, okay, if she hadn't fallen, if she hadn't fallen, si ella no se hubiera caído. Si dice, if she didn't fall, dice como si ella no se cayó. Pero como queremos decir, si ella no se hubiese caído, if she hadn't fallen. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have argued in front of the kids. Perfect. That one is okay. Eulie is very good. She should have run more in the career. Okay, career just with one R. Okay. He should have paid a lawyer. Perfect. He should. Uh, number three, Carlos, you are missing the auxiliary. Have. He should prepare the court and um, they should have paid a therapist. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. He should have, um, have a or have, Wilbur. He should have trained a little bit. He should have been a better. Um, uh, yes. Have. A. Yes. He have. So uh -huh. he could have. Ok, él, de, él debió haber tenido un mejor comportamiento, creo que usted quiere poner. Entonces sería, mm -hmm. he should have had, tenido, had. Uh, uh, the, uh, I had a confusion there because I uh, had a behavior. Uh, I, can, I cannot uh, take the, the, the behavior. Behavior. I, when we use have. Okay. Like this. Uh -huh. Yes, that's my confusion with the verbs have. <clears throat> because behavior is something I can not touch. Yes. That's the reason that's the reason why I I, I bought bean. Okay. 
Oh no, but Ben, remember that if um, the cell. Okay. No, because no. we, yo lo comparaba con el, I, I had a headache. I'm headache. I'm um, confused? And I confused? No. No, no. Um, okay. Um, el, el, I am headache es como tengo dolor de cabeza. Uh, that's correct, but you cannot touch, you hate it. No. So, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Pero usted no puede decir I am headache. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tiene que decir I have a headache. Okay, okay. They have, yes. You have, you have had a bad day, yes. Eh, they should have talked. Okay. He should have, um, Jennifer, el verbo en pasado participio. He shouldn't have run fast. He shouldn't have, um, Ana, el verbo en pasado participio. In la, uh, number two, number three. Number two and three, verb in past participle. Jennifer, verb in past participle. She could have finished the run if she had hydrated more. Okay, perfect. He could have, Jennifer, the same thing, verb in past participle. Okay, Edwin. Uh, he, he should have done everything well. Okay, he could have talked with her. If she could have performed. Yes, uh, Edwin. They should have communicated always to avoid, to avoid problems, to, okay? Nelson, he could have studied for the interview. They could have talked the problems with him, okay? Uh, they could have talked or they could have resolved the problems with, um, calm, yes, okay, or calmly, right? calmadamente, yes. Okay. I can see that the same thing, okay? Verbs, verbs in past participle, okay? Verbs in past participle, guys. That is the challenge, okay? Verbs in past participle. Um, okay, he could have taken drugs without the A, Anna. Because drugs is plural, so we cannot say ah, a drug, okay. right? Okay, okay. Salvador, he should have trained for running 10 miles. He shouldn't have insulted to the office officer, to the police officer. Salvador, he could have, uh huh, number three. Very good. They will have resolved their problem. Yes, guys. Very good. So you see. I mean, it's just a matter of practicing, okay? We need to practice a lot, but yes. Okay, let's move, okay? Let's continue, and now let's continue with this. Okay, guys, so it says, the instructions said, complete the sentences, and we need to use should have or shouldn't have. Just should have or shouldn't have. Okay, so we have situation number one. The flowers die. I have I I should have watered them more often. Yes, I should have watered. Has participle. Eso significa regar. Water is es agua, teacher, pero es un verbo. Eso significa regar también. Okay? So, I'm really hungry. I mm -hmm. I should have eaten, eaten I should, a bigger breakfast. Excellent. I should have eaten. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Number three, I fell into the water. I could have been okay. 
I could have been more careful. Okay, perfect. Okay, or I should have been. Okay, it could be both. Okay. Now, John's father got angry. John shouldn't have took him a lie. Shouldn't have told him a lie. Okay. I'm broke. Cuando tiene dinero, mire. I'm broke. I shouldn't again. I shouldn't again. I should have bought a new car last week. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. This hotel is terrible. I could. Uh, I don't remember the past participle. Stay. Stayed. Stayed. I could have stayed. 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 Okay. At another one. Yes, it's getting cold. Cuando dice, se está poniendo helado. Dice, okay. We it's should cold. have we broke. We have a broke. Our jackets. The movie was boring. We We shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't watch. We shouldn't watch it. Watch it. I don't like geography. I. I should have studied, studied math. math. I should have studied math. The kitchen is a mess. Steve. Steve should have cleaned. Cleaned. Clean it. Clean. Okay. Mommy. Isn't happy. No. I. I should have laughed. No. Laughed. No. But it says Tommy isn't happy. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Laugh. Laugh. Mm -hmm. Laugh is when you say laugh at him, reírse de él. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, yo era como hacerle broma. Debería hacerle alguna broma. No. Hacerlo reír. No. No, hacerlo reír es make, make him uh, laugh. It's, it's different, okay? Now, it's too cold in here. You? You should have. have you, shouldn't. you shouldn't have you shouldn't opened, have. opened the, window. the window. Opened the window. And the last one, chocolate is bitter. I I should I should I shouldn't, I shouldn't yeah. have choose uh past chosen. part of choose chosen prepare uh, chosen chosen mm -hmm. you see what questions do you have no questions No. Only practice and practice. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. Uh, here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Andrea. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cesar Homero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Present. Thank you. Fatima Noemi Umaña. Eh, Glenda Toledo. Glenda. José Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Houseman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Indira. Marlon Oswaldo. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Rafael Alexander Serna. Well, Rafael didn't connect today. Raúl Ernesto González. I am here. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Susana Milena Cruz. Present. Walter David Díaz. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. And Jancy Susana Sánchez. I haven't seen Jancy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue, guys. And now we are going to move to the listening quizzes. Listening quizzes, okay? So we have two. Today we have two listenings. Um, this is the link for the ones that are not uh, in the spreadsheet and the passcode is listening, okay? That's the first one. Let me know once you are in so I can play the recording. Let me see. I mean. You're in, thank you. Okay. I am in. You're in. Thank you. In. Okay. Ready? Who is missing? Quien está listo? Okay. Everybody is ready. Here we go. Okay, let me see if, uh, okay. Give me one second. Just let me make sure this is the one. Let me see. Yes, okay. Um, this is kind of long, okay? Es un poquito como largo, entonces tratemos de um, escuchar la respuesta en la primera vez. Si necesitamos otra vez, lo vamos a volver a poner, okay? Let's see. Um, I'm going to turn off my video. Okay. So imagine that I was going to go to Venezuela. What are three things that I absolutely have to see if I go there? Well, it depends where you go, but if you go to Caracas, the capital, um, definitely visit the the wealthy side of the city. Um, you can go shopping, they're very nice um, shopping malls, and also um, you have to go to the disco, there are so many nightclubs. Nice. Enjoy salsa. Um, yeah, what else? Mm, oh, well, we are very close to the beach side from from the city so like normally every weekend uh, people in caracas the capital go to to the beach and spend the day there after having after spending the whole night dancing so that sounds amazing it's like connecting two days mm -hmm. amazing yeah. if you go to the south definitely you should um visit the um Canaima National Park. It's a famous park because it has the 
the um, the highest waterfall in the world is called Angel Falls. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, and obviously, if you go there, you will get to see how the indigenous people live and try some of their food. Um, yeah, arepa, which is mandatory if you go to Venezuela, you have to eat that. What's that? Is 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 made of um, corn corn. Yes, corn. It's a sort of like corn flour. It's it's only in Venezuela you can find it, and um, is daily breakfast. So like I cannot live without arepas every day. I have so is it like it. a sandwich or? It looks like a hamburger. Okay. Um, and in the middle, like you put stuff in, could be anything you want: cheese, meat, um, whatever you want. So there are so many styles of arepas. Yeah. Sounds amazing. And speaking of food, what other Venezuelan food could you recommend? Um, we also eat a lot empanadas. I think um, you can find those in other countries in South America as well. But every country has their original style. What's that? Um, it's also made from corn flour and um, is baked. Some some of them could be fried. And they have meat or chicken inside. It's, it's very tasty. And it's always like a breakfast thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, if you go there during Christmas, you can try ayaka. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's the traditional dish in, in Christmas. And uh, it has all the four types of meat. It has uh, pork, it has chicken, beef, fish, plus vegetables. It's very tasty. I know it sounds a little bit like, oh, all together but it's very tasty but you get a lot of weight after I can Christmas. imagine <laughs> that's what Christmas yeah. is for right putting on weight. yeah exactly so everybody in January new resolutions losing weight mm -hmm. sounds about right oh now I'm really hungry <laughs> <laughs> okay ready yes okay most of you said yes Yes, all of you? Okay, perfect. Submit your answers. Okay, let me see. Let me see this course. It was kind of easy, right? Okay, most of you got 100. Some of you got 80s. But the lowest score is 80. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Let's take the second one. Let's take the second one. Okay, there you go. That is a link in the Pasco listening. Um, yes. Okay, the second one. Okay, let me know once you are in. Me, I'm in. You're I'm in. in. Okay, perfect. I'm in. Ready. I'm in, ready, okay. I'll give you a couple of seconds, just in case. Okay, so here we go. Here we go with the second audio, okay? And, okay. So Hannah, tell me, um, do you cook much? Yes, I always cook. I often cook with my roommate and we always make Chinese or Japanese food. How about you? Well, um, I don't really cook that often because I'm really busy during the week. So um, I'll just, I always get something in, in a shop and eat that. But uh, during the weekends, um, I, I do, I always cook during the weekends because I really like 
making food. So that's what I do. So do you ever eat out? Um, only occasionally because um, I'm really busy during the week and I prefer cooking during the weekend. So um, not really often. I don't go out really often to eat. But whenever I'm tired and or I don't have time to cook during the weekend, I go and eat out with a friend. So how about you? Uh, well, I always cook, so I normally go and eat out on the weekends with my friends or family. So do you ever buy takeaway? No, I never. Normally when I go out to eat, I like to sit and enjoy my food. How about you? Well, that's really nice. Um, of course, I, I do like to sit and enjoy my food, but I have to admit that occasionally I have to buy takeaway, especially when I'm coming late from work and I'm driving. Um, I'm so hungry that most of the times I don't really make it home. So I have to buy something and eat it on my way. That's a shame, but that's the way it is. And do you, do you usually have people over for dinner? Yes, I sometimes do. I really like cooking, so occasionally I invite my friends over and I cook for them, or we all cook together. How about you? Um, not really. Uh, I do love cooking, uh, but the problem is my place is really small, so even though I want to invite my friends, uh, I never do it because my place would only fit one or two people. So unfortunately, I never have my friends over for dinner. Okay. Ready? Or do you need me to play it an extra time? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Again. Again, yes. So, Hannah, tell me, um, do you cook much? Yes, I always cook. I often cook with my roommate, and we always make Chinese or Japanese food. How about you? Well, um, I don't really cook that often because I'm really busy during the week. So um, I'll just, I always get something in, in a shop and eat that. But uh, during the weekends, um, I, I do, I always cook during the weekends because I really like making food. So that's what I do. So do you ever eat out? Um, only occasionally because um, I'm really busy during the week and I prefer cooking during the weekends. So um, not really often. I don't go out really often to eat. But whenever I'm tired and or I don't have time to cook during the weekend, I go and eat out with a friend. So how about you? Uh, well, I always cook, so I normally go and eat out on the weekends with my friends or family. So do you ever buy takeaway? No, I never. Normally when I go out to eat, I like to sit and enjoy my food. How about you? Well, that's really nice. Um, of course, I I do like to sit and enjoy my food, but I have to admit that occasionally I have to buy takeaway, especially when I'm coming late from work and I'm driving. Um, I'm so hungry that most of the times I don't really make it home. So I have to buy something and eat it on my way. That's a shame, but that's the way it is. And do you, do you usually have people over for dinner? Yes, I sometimes do. I really like cooking, so occasionally I invite my friends over and I cook for them, or we all cook together. How about you? Um, not really. Uh, I do love cooking, uh, but the problem is my place is really small. So even though I want to invite my friends, uh, I never do it because my place would only fit one or two people. So unfortunately, I never have my friends over for dinner. 
Okay. Now submit your answers. And let me see. Okay. Okay, I can see that most of you got 100. Some of you got 80. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. All right, perfect. Those listenings uh, were kind of different from the other ones, right? But now let's move and let's move to the grammar quiz, okay? Let's move to grammar. So we are going to take the one about modal verbs in the past, okay? So this one is for you to see if we can um, resolve those type of exercises, right? Or if we need to reinforce that. So there is a link, please open it at your full name and the passcode is English 2023. So let me know once you are done. Mm -hmm. Read carefully. Okay, lea. Lea y vea el contexto de la oración. Um, okay. Okay, so Wilbur is already done. Let me see. Okay, I got Anna, Jennifer, Wilbur, and Edwin. Okay, perfect. Okay. The ones that already finished, we are going to take the last one, okay? The last one is about 
simple past pronunciation. And the passcode is English 2023. Once you are done with that, let me know because you are going to start with a speaking. Okay. Carlos Francisco. Susan, Raul, okay. Guys, if you're done, take this one. That one is about pronunciation, okay? That is the last one for today. And Ulisse, okay, perfect. Jennifer Torres, okay. And Hosman, okay, perfect. Nelson, okay. Take the other one, take the other one. Very good, Salvador. Take the other one, okay? It's in the chat. Okay, it's in the chat, that one. Hello. Repeat. Okay, so yes, I got Wilbur. Let me see. Mm
Okay, Anna and Wilbert, I'm going to move you to a different room so you can start practicing and speaking, okay? So let me see. Okay, the ones that already finished, you are going to practice speaking. Open the class. Okay, Susana and Raúl. Okay, so I'm missing Eulise, Edwin, eh, Karen, Fatima, Carlos Dominguez, Hosman, and Carlos Arias. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I no recibí los, los links a tiempo hasta ahorita lo voy recibiendo. Okay, take the exam. Tómelo. Okay. El último, tómelo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. Can yes. we practice in a breakup room? Yes. Did you finish your, your exam? Yes. Let me see. Uh, no, but the, the grammar one, no. El último no lo ha hecho, Edwin. Let me see. Okay. Let me check. Okay. Uh, Carlos Arias. Carlos Domínguez, Hostman, okay. Eh, Carlos Domínguez, Hostman, okay. Mm. 
Did you find it, Edwin? Teacher, ya terminé las dos, ya. Okay, ready? Sí, um, sí. le llegó la invitación. Mm, no. no. Es que he tenido problema con el internet, pero ahí está. Bueno, um, ¿ahora? Ahorita sí. Ok. Ulises, ok. Ulises. Ok, Karen. Teacher, I have a problem with Zoom. Really? Yes. I... No, no me ingresó al grupo. De... Try again. It. Yes. Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo sería? Cancel. Uh -huh. The people de man that like that. That, that like to help others. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example. Yeah, so. Okay. Jennifer? Okay. In my case, I think my friends or my college, my co workers. Um, uh -huh. Describe me um gently um good worker <laughs> um I think it's a branding good worker and mm -hmm. uh, later I think so. Mm -hmm. Um, only this. Oh, okay. Sure. Yes. Would you enable the share screen? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Hold slide. Okay. No. Hello. No jet, Postman. Ah, yes. Now, yes. Now, yes. Yeah. Okay. Karen. Teacher. Yes, I'm here. The thing is that I think that I'm having issues with the internet. Okay, okay, okay. About. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Yes. Uh. Lo que pasa es que lo preguntamos si, 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 me, si veía en la pantalla porque ya tengo la clase. Sí. No, 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 yo no veo nada. No, yo sí veo. Yo no veo nada. Sí, yo sí veo. Ok, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Esa o era teacher que no, no se podía compartir a un inicio. Ah. Ok, ok, ok. Ajá, para eso le pedí ahí. Okay. Okay. Speaking time. How do you see your colleagues will describe you? And I will say. What do you mean in colleges? Colleges. I don't know. Colleagues. So like colleagues. Mm -hmm. Colegas. Ah, okay. Um, my, my college, college, colleagues and colleagues. Yes. Okay. My colleagues uh, and co colleagues is about, is uh, also like uh, partner, mm -hmm. teacher. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. My colleges colleagues uh, college are many funny funny mm -hmm. and also they 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 are uh, very uh, responsible about the job okay and and they can they can teeth no teeth no and how do you say enseñar they can teach 
teach, yes. They can teach uh, a different, uh, a different, uh, a different things about uh, of machine or about different topic uh, of the life. Okay. Also, and they are they they are very um mm -hmm. uh, they are very nice okay okay but, mm -hmm. but remember that the question is how do you think your colleagues will describe you right so that means, ¿cómo ellos lo describirían a usted? ¿Qué dirían de usted? Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, I think um, they, they could say mm -hmm. uh, if I uh, uh, a little serious Ok. And, also uh, funny mm -hmm. and responsible about the job, I think. Okay, okay, and, very good. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay. Okay, in my case, I think they will describe me um, as a responsible, mm -hmm. a demanding teacher, Okay. It's correct. Um, also smiling. Smiling? Smiling, yes. Smiling. Um, uh, I am sport uh, in different situations. Okay. Okay. What about the other ones? Carlo Dominguez, Hosman. How do you think uh, colleagues will describe you? Uh, teacher and me, uh, my colleague, colleagues, uh, colleagues mm -hmm. he, uh, is uh, a, a very, very uh, funny, okay. uh, responsible mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the job. Okay. Uh, that uh, ensure ensure uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 how do you say is the uh, cooperate teacher? Um, cooperate. Cooperate. Mm -hmm. uh, only that. Teacher. Only that. Okay. Good things. All right. What about you, Hosman? Um, in my case, uh, the colleagues describe, for example, uh, responsible. Mm -hmm. um, in my job, um, in the personal, is the happiness um, and uh, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, responsible. Uh, Mm. Responsible, and happy, uh -huh. happy, uh, and different moment for the moment that that you the, the job, um, um, tired or angry. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the moment, no, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, every 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 day is the uh, the person that the um the hell that could work. Okay. Please finish. Okay, perfect. I think that you all mentioned good things. Perfect. Okay. So, what are you good at in your job? Tell me at least two things that you consider that you are good at in your job. For example, I am good 
at creating reports. I am good at speaking in public. What about you? Mm -hmm. Two things. Uh, in, my, in my case, I am different activities mm -hmm. and the more more practice and very good uh, in my job is it a service customer. Customer service? Because, customer service, sorry. Uh, because the, every day the problem, the, the different problem, the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the customer server um solution um, and, ha and has the percentage uh, present a different solution and the uh, clientes clients uh, clients um very happy and um, solution um and um, and dar la gracia todas las gracias uh they uh say thanks they stay for the solution the problem Okay, so Hosman, repeat after me and say thanks. Thanks. Yes. Now okay. say, um, I am good at customer service. Say that. Say, okay. I am good at customer service, Hosman. Say, I as customer service. Okay. Just, I am good at customer service. Dígalo, I am good at customer service. I am good, I am good at customer service. Service. Uh, Hosman, service. Yeah. Okay, repeat after me, Hosman. Diga, service. Service. Very good. Now, diga, I am good at resolving issues. I am? Mm -hmm. I am good at I am good, I am good at resolving issues. Resolving switching. Issues. Issue. Issues. It's true. Issues. Issue. Issues. Issues. Ok, esa, esa, esa H tiene que ser relajada, no tiene que ser muy marcada, sino que issues. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok. Very good. Issues. What about you, eh, Ulises? What are you good at in your job? Two things. Ok, um, I can give my support to anyone. Mm -hmm. And all, uh, as well, um, I'm good uh, in my job uh, of different activities mm -hmm. of the day. Okay. Also, mm -hmm. I, I can or I could, uh, I could do, mm -hmm. uh, I could do a lot of things about different situation if my boss said me mm -hmm. or say me says to me uh, says to me mm -hmm. uh, you have to do uh, this job okay mm -hmm. okay uh, it's okay and so I can do uh, Every, every uh, cualquier actividad. Any activity. Any activity, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Perfect, Eulise. What about you, Karen? What are you good at in your job? I am good in planning. Oh, in I am good at. Mm -hmm. at okay, I am good at planning. In organization mm -hmm. of different events. Okay. Uh, also, public speaking. Okay. Uh, and uh, resolve issues. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Carlos, what about you? What are you good at? Uh, uh, teacher, I am good and, and, 
and resolve the the different action play mm -hmm. that and and different issues by 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 different claims and and I am good and and supervise uh, uh, my team and right. and and supervise a uh, uh, a different customers yes only that Jim. perfect thank you okay guys let's go back to the main room okay let's return to the main classroom okay let's go okay okay perfect um Okay, I'm going to turn off my camera because I'm having issues with the internet. Okay, Nelson, what would you have done if you had $10,000 last year? I don't know, teacher. I... I will... I would, I would like uh, mm -hmm. what you have in, done yes uh, I would like spend in in something that is is necessary for me mm -hmm. but I can think in, in, in something right now Okay. Uh, but uh, for uh, other other idea mm -hmm. um, help uh, with this uh, money. Mm -hmm. uh, I will help uh, my family. I will. I would have helped my family. Okay. I will have helped. So. My family. My family. Okay. All right. And Raul, what could she have done yesterday that she had a stomachache? Mm, let me see. Mm -hmm. she, she should have taken uh, yes. a pills for her stomachache. Or... Yes. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she she should have gone to the hospital. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. Uh, Anna, what should you have done since Juan was angry because you did not go to his party? Um, I can. No, I could have okay. sent it a gift with okay. my apologies. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Salvador, what would you have done if you had had, in this case, $10,000? last month I I could have mm -hmm. helped my father and my parents okay perfect yes Karen what could she have done yesterday that she had a stomach ache she She showed. Yes. Yes. Have, um, she should have. She should have. Have uh, the service hall. Oh, okay. All right. She should have drunk. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. 
Very good. Thank you. Okay, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Well, let me see if I have. Yes. Okay. I don't have Susana. Susana is not here. Wilbur, can you please stay with me? Okay. Then the other ones, guys, thank okay. you very much for connecting today and being responsible. I'll see you back tomorrow. I, I hope you have a good night. Okay. Thank you. Rest. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, Wilbur. So we're going to have this short feedback for around 10 minutes, okay? So, okay. Wilbur, how do you feel? How are you? How was your day? Well, my day was happy, sad. Yes, wow. yes. Well, we, we have to do... We in the morning we now uh, we we have uh, what to do, and we we went to the to the place. Okay. But in that place there were there we have a uh, facilities in the in the company. Mm -hmm. So I I was watching the uh, working okay. when the owner uh when the place owner places owner a. Uh, Get, get there. He start to get angry because uh, because the building is new. Okay. And he is uh, deli delicate. I don't know, delicate. Yeah. yeah. And he's a, 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 that person. That persons are so delicate. And the building is new. And he didn't want a new um, agujero. Oh. Oh, and he did the one that called because we they was they had they had to put an, mm -hmm. an antenna. Okay, an antenna. Mm -hmm. An antenna. They had to put an antenna uh, for the cameras. Mm -hmm. Be, but uh, he he arrived so angry. I don't want that thing there. You are you are in my my fachada um maybe the place you are in my my new building okay. and i don't want there so mm -hmm. okay uh, we 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 was uh, a punto no sé cuál es la palabra teacher uh we were about we were about to finish the, the installation mm -hmm. and 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 that arrangement all the holding so yeah. okay and, mm -hmm. and okay and at the end what did you do did you resolve or, or no well uh the out the the building owner uh talk with the with the security company uh, mm -hmm. and 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 after um, Ten minutes he arrived when when we when we were and talked with us and told and told us uh, my boss uh, talked with me like as a you mm -hmm. he told me the same as you so I can do it nothing too so we have to move that antenna I can't do nothing what can I do said okay. So, uh, so we have, we get to, llegamos a un acuerdo, and mm -hmm. to to get the antenna in other in another place where the antenna doesn't that doesn't nobody doesn't look. Mm -hmm. uh, so the day was over. <laughs> okay, we will then. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so it is really delicate, right? Everything, I mean. Yes. Okay, but the good thing is that it was resolved, right? Yes, yes, it will resolve. Not today, but in this okay. weekend. This weekend, okay, mm -hmm. got it. Okay, Wilbur, so, well, I'm sorry about that situation, right? So, but sometimes things happen, right? So things happen. It's it's my daily. It's, okay. That's my daily. Mm. 
Okay. I, I should have to be um, acostumbrado. I, I should have, I, I should be used to. I should be used to, yes. but I'm not. But you are not. Okay. No, no, no. It's a yeah. lie. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, uh, yeah, you are not in the mood, right? So you, yes, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, Wilbur, and okay. So now um, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions related yes. to our class, right? So mm -hmm. I would like to know, Wilbur, what do you think about our classes, right? What do mm -hmm. you think about the dynamic of our class? How have you felt with these uh, two, three weeks, almost three weeks that we have been uh, taking classes in general? Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. Uh, this class, this, this model has been better than the others because uh, you are not going uh, directly to the to the PDF. You have your own uh, model mode. You have your own mode, and that's so good because I I didn't. No me esperaba. Um, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, or this this grammar you have, this quiz you have. It 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 turned it it turns uh, this model so interesting okay uh -huh. so uh, i don't want to say the other models were, were uh, boring no they they were interesting too but you had another way so much so much interesting okay uh -huh. uh, my real problem is uh, my listening yes I have noticed that. Yes, uh -huh. my real problem is listening. I focus uh, in my writing. I focus in my in my in my um, speaking. speaking. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking, but I have, I don't know. I think I had this problem. I, when I watch a movie or series, mm -hmm. when I watch a, or, or or I or I listen to music. When I listen to music, for example, uh, I uh, I read it a song, but in English. Mm -hmm. Where uh, when I I read uh, the song as they are singing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I I I go by there. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. As the same with the movies, but when I left uh, the movie or I or I left the the, the song mm -hmm. without the translation. Okay. It is difficult for me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I think I think that's that's not a real problem because I I I focus so much in the reading and in the and in the writing, but uh, by my listening, no, not so much. Okay. Um. Well, we very yes. I have noticed that the listening is the one that you probably um need to improve right mm -hmm. so what we're doing is that uh, first of all i'm happy that you feel okay that you feel the module that is interesting right that you like the classes and everything um what we are doing is that we are taking those listening tests so you can practice right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i want you to try to practice whenever we are not in classes as well because yeah listening is sometimes kind of difficult right so we need to listen and listen and listen yes. and listen the whole day so if you are able to listen to music in english uh, podcasts um videos on youtube in english do it because just in that mm -hmm. way is how you are going to improve so mm -hmm. right now i think that you are in a good level so you are still learning right but okay. You need to look for other uh, ways to learn the listening skill, right? Uh, so, mm -hmm. I was learning in the in the in the language that you shared okay. in the in the first league. I, I had to. They were so interested because uh, when you click in the first class, uh, I guess you you you. Um, usted saca la, las clases de ahí, algunas clases, no? Yes, the, the okay. listening. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's both interesting because uh, when I saw when I put uh, to make to make the the, the first uh, exercise uh -huh. or the, the first quiz, I uh, what I do is is this: 
the first listening that I that I hear, I put I answer. Pa, 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 pa. I don't like to listen in and, and repeat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and so and that's the that's just the I try it. Mm -hmm. And and I get and I said, okay, I have to I had to train this, I had to practice in this. I go so so. Okay, but you mm -hmm. are doing the, the uh these exercises, right? You are taking the quizzes, so that is good. Yes. That is great. Uh, I just I just do the uh, two quiz mm -hmm. because uh, uh because the this mode this mode uh when we start when we, when my daughter start to classes mm -hmm. my schedule has changed so uh in the second week i i felt switch down switch up i felt switch up and i and i put a put a meditation mm -hmm. uh-huh and you were really this, tired Yes, because I had no, no estado acostumbrado. Creo que ya me dijo esa palabra, ¿verdad? I was not used to. I was not used to. So, I got too used to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, but I'm happy that you are uh, trying to, right? That is that is something good. Try to continue practicing, taking those quizzes, and I'm pretty sure that you are going to improve, okay? Okay. So let me ask you, do you have any issues with the platform, with the exams on the platform? Yeah, yeah I think uh, that I have some problems, mm -hmm. but, uh, but I think it's not for me, sorry. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes it's, a, it's the platform and this, and this is not the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, it happened, it happened in the, in the other models. Uh -huh. yeah, um, Yes, some of you have uh, found different mistakes and I have reported those mistakes, mm -hmm. right? So whenever you find a mistake, let me know so I can report this to the correct department and they can fix it. Okay, uh, I, I will show you the problem or the issues I have. Yes. Uh, so uh, I, I hope you, you, you heard. Yes, so send a picture or something, right? So I yes. can show the picture to them, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay, perfect. Do you want to add something else right now, Wilbur? Um, no, but I would, like, I would like to agree something and I would like my, I would like to, to give you my, my congratulations. Okay. I would like to give you my congratulation because I uh, like I said you uh, it, it this model has been more interesting than the others okay. uh, for for your own model to teach us okay. to teach no it's so Thank interesting you. all right so I really appreciate that okay thank you Wilbur so um uh, that makes me feel happy because you are learning, right? And you really enjoy the class. That's the purpose, right? So I'm going to keep uh, doing the same things, right? And I'm going to try to improve different things so you can go ahead and learn even more, okay? Okay. I would like, sorry, teacher, but I would like to ask you a personal uh, ask. Yes. Okay. How many times do, do you, how many, how many times how many times do you, how many times? Or, uh-huh. Uh, no, I don't know, if you, do you spend to learn English? Oh, how many years? How many years? Yes, well, around three years. Uh, three years, okay. Yes, around. Oh, sadly. Yes, but the thing is that I have always liked English. I mean, yeah. I like the English language. So that makes things um, easier, right? Mm, okay. I guess three years. Three years. Okay, I had okay. time. <laughs> you have time, okay. <laughs> I'll see you back tomorrow then, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Good night. 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 Okay.